Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel, Diani here. In today's video, we'll dive into the world of Power Platform tools for Visual Studio. This powerful extension makes developing solutions in the Power Platform a breeze. With its support for rapid creation, debugging and deployment of plugins along with various other capabilities, you'll be able to streamline your development process. So let's get started. To begin, to ensure you have the following requirements in place. You'll need Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 or 2022 as these are the supported versions. And the second one will be the .NET Framework 4.6.2 installed on your computer. This is required for plugin and workflow activity development. Once you have the prerequisites sorted, let's move on to the installation process. Launch Visual Studio. Select Continue without code in the dialog. Go to Extensions and click on Manage Extensions. In the left navigation pane, expand online and click on Visual Studio Marketplace. Search for Power Platform Tools, download and install the extension. Restart Visual Studio for your changes to take effect. After installing the Power Platform tool, you won't immediately find any related menu items or views in the Visual Studio user interface. To enable them, you need to create or load a Visual Studio solution that contains at least one project created from a Power Platform tools template. When it comes to developing plugins, the Plugin Profiler is an invaluable tool for debugging. To utilize this tool, you must install its Dataverse solution into your development environment using the Power Platform tools for Visual Studio. Now let's dive into creating a Power Platform solution. This solution template serves as an excellent starting point for any new project. In the Visual Studio New Project dialog, search for Power Platform solution template and select Next. Click the project information and choose a .NET Framework version and select Create. At the Configure Microsoft Power Platform Solution dialog, choose either to use an existing Dataverse solution or create a new one. Specify existing items or create new projects using the available Power Platform Projects templates. Enter the names for the chosen projects and select Done. Save the Visual Studio solution when prompted. With the solution set up, we can now add a plugin project to it. Right click on the solution in Solution Explorer. Select Add and choose New Project. Select one of the installed Power Platform Tools template and click Next. Fill in the required information and select Create. Make sure to choose the .NET Framework version 4.6.2 for plugin or workflow activity libraries. Connect to the Dataverse by selecting Tools and then Connect to Dataverse. Choose the desired options in the dialog and click Login. Select the existing solution from the Power Platform where your plugin and workflow activity assemblies will be registered. Click Done when finished. With our project in place, it's time to create our plugin. Select View, then go to the Power Platform Explorer and expand your Environment node and the Environment Tables subnode. Right click on the table type. In our case, its case, where the plugin step will be registered and select Create. Fill out the Register New Step dialog with the required information. And choose Register New Step when done. Write the plugin code in the generated file. 
Now we get to one of the most important steps, which is signing an assembly. Before deployment, it's important to sign the plugin or workflow assembly. And here's how you can do it. Select the plugin or workflow activity project in Solution Explorer. Right click the project, go to properties to edit the properties of the project. You will see a sign in tab. Go to the sign in tab, sign the assembly and specify a strong name key file. Now we're done signing our assembly. Let's go ahead and do the necessary code modifications. And once we've completed the necessary code modification, it's time to build and deploy the plugin assembly and steps to our environment. Build the solution like you'll build any other project in Visual Studio. Right click the plugin library project in Solution Explorer and select deploy. Alternatively, you can deploy the entire solution by right clicking the CRM package project and choosing deploy. It might take some time as you can see from the screen that it's busy deploying to our environment. After the deployment process is completed, Select Refresh icon in Power Platform Explorer to see your registered plugins and steps. And that's it. Congratulations. We've successfully learned how to get started with Power Platform tools for Visual Studio. With these tools at your disposal, you'll be able to develop powerful solutions and streamline your development process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and happy coding.